Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is my third installment of my Eid series. So um, there's currently like, I think maybe a week to go till Eid. I believe it's next Thursday or Friday. So um, this is my third look and today I'm doing a neutral double wing liner look and this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's it's a neutral look, but it's still special for a special occasion such as Eid. Obviously, you could wear this with any outfit because it's just browns. And um, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys. Let's get to the tutorial. Starting with a clean face, I'm gonna use the first product, which is a primer. And then I'm gonna use a matte foundation, just on a nice big flat top kabuki brush so that I can really buff it into the skin and get a more natural look. Then before I move on to my eyes, I'm just going to do my eyebrows so that that's all ready and in place. Yeah, let's do it. Great, now the eyebrows are on, I'm going to zoom you in so we can do the eye makeup. Starting out, I'm going to prime my lid with an eye primer. Currently it's summer in a lot of countries, so we want to make sure that the lids are going to not crease with the eyeshadow on it and make sure the makeup stays all day because I'm pretty sure you guys sort of go out to visit family and things throughout the day. So you need it to last day and night. I'm going to start out by applying this apricot color to my lid. So this is just going to really brighten up the area. I'm also going to take that under the brow bone. Under the brow bone. Okay, then I'm going to take like a medium brown color. I'm going to use this one. Just on a very small shader brush. I use this brush from my Sigma um, Performance Eye Kit because it's so small so I can do more precise things with it. I'm just going to start creating like a little wing out of shadow with this and this is like a little synthetic type brush so it's very good at doing that. I'm just going to like draw the little line at an angle. So the line I'm drawing is just going to sort of connect to where my socket ends. You can see the line of my socket. I'm just going to follow that as a guide. And then drag it back in. Then I'm going to take this angle brush with a darker brown and I'm going to use that at the base of the wing. So just trying to deepen up the color of the wing a little bit. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Then I'm going to take a lighter brown, so quite lighter. That one. And I'm just going to take that on a little pencil brush and run that over the seam of the brown. So I just want to smudge out the wing a little bit. So this color is like a transitional color that's going to help the dark brown blend into the apricot color that we put on our lid. So there's something like that on the eye. And I'm going to take the mid-tone brown again and run that under the eye. And I'm also going to smudge that up underneath the wing. Take some more of the darker shade. And I'm just going to start drawing that out into a little double wing under the eye. Just a bit, a bit smaller this time. Now to make that little double wing a lot more dramatic, I'm going to take some concealer in my skin shade. And I'm going to use that in the gap between each wing to really crispen that up. So just draw it in and follow the natural line that's there. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm just going to etch that into the outside of the top lash line. Then I'll apply mascara, top and bottom lashes. And then I've been dying to try these lashes and I just got sent them today in the mail. And last step to the eyes is apply a yellow eyeliner to the waterline and connect it to the double wing, like the little space between the double wing. And then just to highlight the inner corner and above the lip, I'm going to use this colored pigment. So I guess I lied. That wasn't the last step. This is the last step. 
Then with a concealer for under the eye, so a peachy tone, take that underneath and clean up any areas that look a bit dark. Now the eyes are all done, I'm going to apply some bronzer, concentrating it toward the outer parts of my face and around the cheekbone area but using quite large sweeps with the brush. And then using a really nice sort of dusky rose as a blusher. Then for the lips, I'm going to do a really nice nude lip, but with a lot of gloss. So I'm going to start out by lining them. Then I'll take MAC Creme de Nude. And then I'll put a nice sort of fuchsia sheer gloss over the top to add some colour. And that's the end of the makeup look. And as I just said, this is the end of the tutorial. If you're wondering about my keftan, this is by Tamara Al Gabani. Let's just take a moment to admire it. I love it. It's such a light silk material and it's covered in crystals head to toe. So that's by Tamara Al Gabani. I'll link her website below as well as her Instagram. Thank you so much for this dress. It is beautiful. And I thought this makeup would go really well with that because I don't want to detract from the beautiful kaftan. So that's why I chose to do like a simple but still Arabic influence with double wing. Yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed my tutorial. I'm so happy that everyone's enjoying my Eid looks. Uh, come back next Thursday for the last one. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like my video. And I'll see you in the next Eid tutorial next Thursday. Until then, bye.